Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I'm enjoying this nice, slightly cool breeze in Texas. That's why I'm doing this video. Please excuse the fact that it might be a little bit louder than usual. That's okay. You know how my production quality normally is anyway. So, guys, what I have for you today is a little marvel. It's something that I found on Amazon. Cool little product, and I think certain components of this little kit should probably be in each one of your tool bags. Let's go ahead and let's take a look. All right, guys, so this is a professional dental kit. And you can get these on Amazon. I think they're probably about 10 bucks, all right? And you're probably thinking to yourself right away, why the heck would I ever need something like that? I mean, some of the tools are probably a little useless, but some of them are awesome absolutely amazing so uh, it does have quite the variety there's different types of picks now what, what you should know is that most dental picks are going to have uh, low ferrous high stainless steel quality and and so you don't have to worry about rust and you can sanitize them but at the same time you have to worry about the brittleness of the material and they're non-magnetic since they are non-magnetic you are not going to be able to uh, use them with uh, you know magnetic pickups and stuff and because they're brittle it's a good thing we have extras because you will break some. I have broke so many dental picks throughout my career. And, you know, all I could say is it's really nice to have a kit like this. I mean, look at this. It's in a little semi-leather bag that zips up. I'll leave a link to this in the video description. You can go ahead and check it out. But guys, check this out. We've got uh, these offsets. I love the offsets, especially the ones with the more rigid tine because those are the ones that are probably gonna go in my tool bag and above my soldering bench, that's where I use things like uh, these tweezers right here. Check out, we got tweezers, we got scrapers. These are so good when you're doing like surface mount and you're doing soldering, they're fantastic. Between these two right here, awesome, awesome deal. Now, some of these really, really fine picks, those are also fantastic when you're doing soldering because let's say you have a uh, bridge between two pins that are really close together, or let's say you wanna get underneath the chip and lift it up slightly, just a tiny amount so that you can maybe desolder other parts. That's why these, these really fine uh, picks, you can just kinda stick it under one of the legs, desolder, and then that will raise the chip just naturally from tension. Now there, there are some other units that are probably gonna be maybe a little less useful, like this guy right here, which is the mirror. Yeah, I get it. Um, there's a little scraper, Let's check this out. You see it right there? See how it's got a fine point, but then it's got a scraped edge. I've actually probably been able to use that a couple times in my career, that would have been nice. One of the most useful tools, here, let me pull off the protectors. See right here, a little spatula. And see how it's got this little spoon. Now this is really good when you're dealing with grease. That little spoon right there, you can put a little piece of grease, you can put it on some gears or something without getting your hands dirty, and you can get it into a more confined space to lubricate hard to reach areas. That's kind of cool. Uh, we have some more scrapers. And this guy right here, this dingle hopper, I have no idea what this jaw harp is but it, that will probably get pulled out of this kit and thrown out. I have no use for that whatsoever. Or, more so, I'll probably cut it right here with my grinder and see how it's got this nice, long, um, I don't wanna say the word, it's got this nice long shaft, but um, that right there is going to be really good if I cut it off right here and blunt the end or round the ends if you ever are putting on a panel or something and you need to line up all the fasteners, you can use one of these as like a drift punch. You put it in the hole and then you can pick up the other side of the panel and put a fastener in. So it kind of holds the panel up. Well, you know, cause some of these panels on some devices are really big and it always helps to put in one fastener or a drift punch in one hole. And then you lift the panel up until you can line up the other holes. And that is maybe what I'm gonna use this for. It's almost the right diameter for, for most fasteners that you find in sheet metal. So we'll go ahead and check that out. But um, this guy right here, looks like it's really high quality. Let's check out the tips. The tips do line up 
okay? Yep. Now, there is this little tactile piece right here. You see how it's got this pin? Now, that is a, technically a structural component, but that pin right there is also to let the doctor know how hard they're squeezing down on something, okay? So it is a tactile response that tells you, hey, that right there is flush, and the more you squeeze down, it kind of pokes into your finger, and it gives you a tactile uh, feel for how hard you're really squeezing it. So, but it is also structural. So in case you grab onto something, you got to twist it. That little mid support right there prevents all the strain from being back here. I don't know if I'll keep it on there uh, because for me, they're kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, these here are going to be perfect for soldering. All right. I'll leave a link in the video description below. You can check them out. They're really inexpensive. And you should treat them like a consumable because some of these items right here, they will break. And that's okay, because we have plenty more. And the ones that are double-ended, if you're on a, in the job site, you got one that's broken, you can just use the other side. You're good. So anyway, guys, that, unexpected, but that is the professional dental cool, tool kit. I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, leave it down below. You can check it out. I highly suggest everybody keeps at least, you know, a few of these instruments in your tool bag. You never know when you're going to need them. And when you do, they are a game changer. Thanks for watching, guys.